Creating a work environment for users in Creo and Creo connected to Windshield has historically had a number of moving parts. Admins have to consider multiple versions, network versus local installs, config files, multiple customer specific config files to match that customer's environment, UIs, complicated batch scripts. Are users mobile or are they sitting at their desk? License configurations. Are we connected to Windshield? Are we not connected to Windshield scenarios? Windshield server registration, default workspaces, multiple cache locations, and the list goes on and on. And to top all that off, we are moving from Creo 4 to Creo 7, and I have to test all of this in as close to a production environment as possible. And while this is a lot to consider, the kicker is, is there's no unified how-to documentation or instructions on how all of this comes together. Most of the time, you are piecing together information from multiple sources. You went to the PTC user group meetings. You went to the technical committee meetings. You're on the PTC tech support page. And while there's good information out there, best practices aren't readily available. How do you pull all this together? This is where Genius Tool Starter comes in at. What we're configuring are environments for our users. And everything that I just mentioned can be controlled within Genius Tool Starter. And the great part about it is all of this can be done at the server level and synced down to our clients at whatever interval that we decide to. I'm going to show you a demo in just a minute, but let's see a few screenshots of what each project is made up of. You see some of our Creo settings, and I won't go through all of these, but what release of Creo are we using? Are we using a specific PSF file? What is our startup folder? What is our cache location? Windchill specific settings. Are we using Windchill? What is that server name? Give me the URL. What is the default workspace? What is the context? Right? What product are we using? All of this is built within the starter environment, so you don't have to do it through batch scripts or every single time a user, a new user comes on, you have to set up his machine and they have to go register the server. All of this is controlled in a unified, easy to use, pretty straightforward interface. Let's see how this works. To understand how Genius Tool Starter works, we must first begin from before we ever actually launch Creo. We're creating working environments. That is all configured before you actually ever launch Creo. Now, in a number of typical situations, if you're looking at a user's desktop, you might find icons for multiple versions of Creo, Creo 3, Creo 4, and so on. This might all be done through a batch script. The batch script might ask you what version you're using or what environment that you might be using. All of this goes away when we're using Genius Tool Starter. All that the user would have on their desktop is a Genius Tool Starter icon. And once they got into the Genius Tool Starter icon, once they launched it, they would get a UI that looks like this. Now we are looking at this from the admin look. And because of that, I have a bunch of different, what we call launch projects or projects. And every single one of those projects, what differentiates them could be version, connection to Windchill, license configuration, all of those things that I mentioned when we were looking at the PowerPoints. A quick example of launching Creo from this user interface is just a simple double click. Here is my very generic connected to Windchill Creo 6 session that most users would have. Connected to Windchill, even though it's offline at this time, pretty straightforward. I have users that need to be able to connect or launch Creo, but they don't want to be connected to Windchill. Double click. Here's my no Windchill connection. Landed session. Server manager, no registered server. I might have groups of engineers. Engineering group A 
or facility A only gets access to a specific PSF file or license configuration file. Group B gets access to a separate PSF file. PTC is always changing license types, different names, different packaging types. It's always a bear and a pain to try to manage what sessions have what licenses, the different licensing name, reconfiguring the sessions to actually pick up the appropriate licensing. All of this can be configured not only for Creo Parametric, but Creo Simulate, MathCAD, Illustrate. Let's look at how these projects are put together. This is the administrative UI for Genius Tool Starter. And very simply, just like we saw right there, here are all, each one of these projects. And kind of like what we saw in the PowerPoints, these are the snapshots of them. What are my windshield settings? And so each one of these has very specific settings that separate it from one to the next. What if we only want users to have access to specific projects. I can very simply come in. I have access groups, administrative group, engineering A group. I just created simple users on my machine. And then if I go to what those users have rights to, I can see functional access just means what is available from within Genius Tool Starter itself. Can they get into the project configurator? Can they stop synchronization? Can they see or borrow licenses? But what's really nice is I can come to my project access and say for the admin group, they have access to all of these projects. Engineering group A, they only have access to these projects. Engineering group B, they only have access to these projects. A, engineering A, B, engineering B. Now I can't show you the switch for the users because I wouldn't be able to record all that, but you will see these screenshots that I took as I log into each one from what they see from their Genius Tools interface versus what I see as the admin. What's great about this is that we are going to make a change and upgrade from Creo 4 to Creo 7. I can install Creo 7 on every one of my users' machine, but only give a group of power users access to them just by creating a group called Power Users and exposing the Creo 7 launch for them. All of this is configurable within Genius Tools Starter. There's so much more that I could show you, but for time considerations, we'll leave it at that. If you'd like to learn more about Genius Tools Starter or any of the other Genius Tools apps, please feel free to reach out at any time.